And still in South Africa, opposition parties and civil groups in the country are planning to embark on a national shutdown on Friday to protest against the ongoing blackouts and electricity tariff hikes by NERSA. Load shedding is wrecking havoc on many businesses around the country and in some areas, residents have complained that their power did not return after load shedding. Meanwhile, the Democratic Alliance says it uh, will march to Lithuli House. At Lithuli House in Johannesburg, uh, we are calling on all South Africans to join us for that protest. And the reason for that is the ANC must be held responsible for the mess that this country is in. They were warned again and again and again that they needed to sort this out. They were given solutions, proposals, and, and, and people said, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do the next thing. And they didn't do any of it. And in the meantime, uh, there was corruption on a, on a massive scale, both uh, in government, but also in the state-owned entity, ESCOM, uh, which, which affected and, and impacted on, on the ability of the country to, to uh, provide electricity. And so the ANC must be held accountable for the mess that South Africa's in. So that's the, the first part of the protest. We're also looking at rolling out national protests at various other points around the country uh, to protest both the, the increase in electricity tariffs and the impact of load shedding on the economy and people's lives. Now uh, joining us, uh, Sia Bulela Gentile, the president not in my name international, uh, to have a brief discussion on this. Um, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Uh, let's talk about the mass uh, protest and, uh, of course, the national shutdown. How effective do you think this might be? Uh, thank you so much. Good day to you and the viewers. We are of the view, as Not In My Name International, um, obviously, you know, joined by other forward-thinking South Africans and organizations such as uh, the Mamelodi, ESTRS, and Nelma Pias Forum, uh, we are of the view that democratic dispensation is brought on by, I mean, it's brought by mass action. We believe that uh, South Africa as a country was liberated by mass movement, by mass democratic action. And we do believe, because what we are seeing in South Africa happening today, without getting into details, we all know this energy crisis. It's, it's actually uh, the government and, uh, you know, um, tramping on basic human rights, uh, services that we should be receiving because we are paying for them. So we believe that uh, taking on the mass protest uh, will bring the desired results. Also to mention that this is one of many actions that we will be embarking on as organizations on the ground physically without any interference of political participation or any influence of political parties. But to answer you the long and short of it, it is going to be effective. It is effective because we believe, as I said, that when people uh, take to the street and uh, you know show that they are not happy and then state things definitely start happening failure to do that that will send a very strong message to the people of south africa that the, the government is insensitive to their plight the government does not care about them and then uh, we must deal with them in fact the very same way that we dealt with the apartheid government in south africa um the president did apologize about a week ago but nothing much seems to have changed even after that apology so do you expect that, you know, the, the, uh, the of course, government this time will maybe take proper action or, you know, maybe further explanations yeah. will surface at most? The government of South Africa, in fact, the president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, is, is his entire presidency, in fact, we very said that he's going to getting a second term. His entire presidency has been, uh, you know, characterized by apologies or shock. Either he's shocked, if he's not shocked, he's coming out to apologize. So that apology means to nothing to us until we see physical and practical action uh, 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 through, you know, uh, stopping uh, um, load shedding. Only then we'll take him serious. But as I said, that we believe that when ordinary South Africans take to the street, we'll definitely start to see some action. We believe that load shedding is man-made. And the reason why it's continuing is because South Africans, ordinary South Africans are quiet. So we are going to see some change. We do believe. Uh, in that we are going to see some change definitely this time around. And it is up to them, the government, to make sure that, you know, they, 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 they make this change happen. In fact, as part of our mass demonstration, we'll be going to the National Energy Regulator of South Africa, which is NERSA. We will know that uh, they, 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 they increased tariffs as well, giving ESCOM the right to loot uh, officially at a mass-based scale. So, so, so our mass demonstration will be starting there before we go to the office of the city president at the union buildings. We'll be starting there to demand that they scrap that increase 
and then uh, uh, they revoke that increase and then we'll be moving to, to the office of the president to say that they need to stop load shedding with immediate effect. Failure to do so will be continuing with mass protest. There's other uh, uh, organizations that have resorted to litigation will be supporting them, will be supporting all forward-thinking South Africans until uh, we make sure that ESCOM and uh, 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 the uh, NERSA as well as the South African government put a stop to load shedding. Uh, final question to you. I, I want to know um, who you want to join, uh, not in my name, in this shutdown or this protest. You know, is there any other bodies that you would like to call in to, you know, be a part of it? Would like to call upon South Africans, ordinary South Africans, Africans uh, 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 who reside in South Africa legally, uh, 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 other people who are in this country legally, who are affected. Everyone who's in this country, uh, everyone who's got interest in the affairs of South Africa must come and join us as we walk the ground. We'll be moving from the Pretoria Church Square. Uh, and then uh, we'll be passing along Madiba Street to nurse offices, and then we'll be proceeding uh, to 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 uh, you know a building where sits the executive of the state, which is the union building. So ordinary South Africans, there is nothing political about this demonstration. It's ordinary South Africans coming in together to say that uh, not in our name are we going to allow uh, the continued uh, uh, load shedding uh, in South Africa. So everyone is welcomed. Uh, obviously, except for children, we we do not want uh, parents to bring children there. But everyone yeah. uh, of consenting age is allowed to come and join us. Uh, even those who will be working in and around Pretoria, they must come because this thing uh, uh, affects all of us. Church leaders, church goers, uh, everyone is is allowed and welcome. Ordinary community members will be having buses from different townships in and around Pretoria. Will be picking up uh, people to the march for free. Uh, we have water, we have fruits, uh, we are well organized. Uh, one thing, last thing, which is important to note is that this morning we were uh, granted, you know, a certificate of protection in, by the city of Tswane. The match is protected by public order policing of South Africa as well as uh, the city of Tswane Metro Police. So it will be safe, it will be peaceful. We are disciplined members of the society who have come together to say that we are not going to allow uh, load sharing to continue. So everyone is welcomed. Everyone must right. come join us. It is nothing political, uh, and I wish to thank you. All right, everyone is affected somehow, some way. Sia Bulela, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we would love to speak thank to you, you again sometime next week.